Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In our last episode, we finished up our first Scarlet Orchard town, and since the archaeology didn't go so well, decided to do another one, to start another one. So we have here a... Um, uh, we just finished this weaver, just built kind of as I was, you know, making sure the game was good to go and everything, checking the sound. So we had selected all of this, and we had a little bit of... No, where's our woodcutter at? Over here. We had a little bit more fabric, or uh, plant fiber in storage someplace, so I think we have enough to make just that, but maybe not. Uh, we need to pull probably one of you out of here. Um, we need some more people. I have, two, I have two there, maybe I should pull one of them. Let's pull one of these. Um, right about now. We have at least a builder, uh, so we can get some planks going here. And then we can get some of that going. Uh, we did just open this glade. Um, sea marrow, storm bird nest, copper, and a small abandoned cache. Uh, let's see. Sea marrow is probably something good to go for, but we are currently getting stone. So I think I'll wait and then we'll switch to sea marrow as soon as I finish this stone node, which they have 15 charges left on, so it's not, um, not far off. We'll have the builder something else to do there while they're waiting on some planks to get made. Although we might be able to just... No, they must have just delivered. They must have just delivered. Okay. Uh, let's see what's now. What's now? What's new? That'll be your last plank. Manufacturing. It's forced delivery. We'll switch one of you over here. Actually, we should probably try to put beavers in there. If we get one in the next season. The next uh, uh, group. There we go. Alright. How many charges of this do we have? 21 each? Yeah. The new number for a while will be 21. It was 15 for a while, I think. But then we gain some percentages. Oh, let's kick the speed up, too. No sense in going through in slow mode. Yeah, they had three planks made here. Yeah, one person, all the bricks. That's good. No, no, yes. Go for now. At least we'll get, get it started. We can swap it out with the beaver in a moment if we can. Uh, let's see. Urban planning. For every ten completed trade routes, all houses will have room for one more person, but construction is 25% slower. Uh, that's a trade-off. Uh, slower construction shouldn't be that huge of a deal. But the uh, the additional the additional room for people is good. On the other hand, ten completed trade routes would take a while, and as we found out the last time, the trade routes aren't always that efficient. Villagers have a ten percent chance of receiving bonus yields from production, but consumption control is disabled. I would actually kind of be okay with that. I mean, we use consumption control sometimes, but not that much. That sounded really weird when I said it too, by the way. Family gratitude. Relatives of your villagers send gifts for treating their family members well. Give 40 water skins for every full reputation point gained through high resolve. I'm going to do this because I could have really used that one in the last map because then we could have gotten the reputation we needed, or sorry, the uh, water skins we needed to open up that second tier of, uh, of uh, whatchamacallit, of uh, the archaeology dig. <laughs> Uh, danger Glade. We want to do a Danger Glade. Danger... Danger Glade. Maybe we just do this one? Or we could do one of these two. Uh, shortest Dig. Shortest Dig. It, they're about the same. Let's go ahead and do this then. Even though it makes it longer. Like that. Watch this over. Oh, I keep forgetting to take the people though. People. Two beavers and a human, or two humans and a beaver? Uh, coats and... Uh, let's do the two beavers and a human. And let's do... Uh, you there. And... I'll let you finish. Just because you're almost done. You go there. And then let's also do uh, force delivery. Now, what I would like is uh, for the for the deliveries to say, hey, put a human in here, but they need to do all the deliveries. Only when they don't have anything else to do can they actually make planks. They need to go retrieve all the all the log, all the wood, and they need to deliver all the planks. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. We should probably get up another get another uh, 
uh, lumber camp going to? Oh boy, happy humans or happy beavers? Um, two additional humans, some pie and copes, or wood cutting and tools. Uh, let's see, humans are at 15, beavers are at 10. Technically, that's closer for the humans then. But I want the beaver rewards more, so we're going to do the beavers one. Uh, 40 jerky. We still don't know... 10 jerky for every 10 pie produced. Or the packs of building materials. 12 packs of building materials. Uh, let's do this one. So we don't have a jerky recipe. Uh, we don't know who our third race is, although I guess it would be fine either way in that case. And their big shelter here. So that housed six of our people. Uh, yeah, six of our people. Can it be nice if they just did two rows of three here? Um, but uh, we have 14, so we need more room. More room. Stonecutter, your turn to come down here. Put you back like that. I think just you're out of the way of the woodcutters here. And then we're going to budge the woodcutters over some more. Like that. Uh, someone mentioned that cutting sea barrel counts as a fuel recipe. Which I wasn't aware of. But thank you for that tip. I will pass that along here. I didn't realize that counted as a fuel recipe. Then I wonder if coal mining counts as a fuel recipe too. It would make sense. I just didn't notice if it did. Uh, should we make four packs of crops, perhaps? We have the stuff to do so. Yeah, we have roots. Let's put a human in here to make packs of crops times four. We'll get that one turned in. That'll be easy enough done. And then we need also three packs of building materials and then 12 after that. We're going to use planks for those, I think. Because it's the only efficient recipe we have right now. We could use copper, but I think we'll, we'll do that as uh, this. Go. And there's not enough planks right now, but... Um, Maybe I should wait then. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Um, let them keep making them. Let's do another big shelter. We need one more. For two more people? Yep. Yep. And then when you get out here, uh, do two small shelters if you're doing the pattern that I'm doing. That way you have... Um, everybody's in inside the, the district. Otherwise, you'll have to... Uh, You'll have to do um, something else. Let me go there like that. I think that's fine. Otherwise, you'll have to. They won't count if you have them p poking out. So make sure you do uh, the four big shelters and two small shelters if you're going to do this. Nearly there. Board. That means we could probably give you something else to do. Oh, there you go. Now you're storing... Okay, good. You're storing the packs of crops. Let's pull you out of there. We'll get those back. We're going to wait on the... Good. Time for people. Uh, reeds. Lots of stone. More sea marl. More copper. A large abandoned cache. And large destroyed caravan. Now, where's that sea marl at? Okay, it's right there. Are you in range? You are not. That's good. I don't want them walking all the way over here to do that. I'd rather uh, wait get a storage built in here and then have them mining the sea marrow and the stone when they're actually in here minus seven to global resolve uh, we have this that gains us a half a reputation point for every event completed during the drizzle drizzle season so we're going to sit on this event for uh the next well let's see for two people it's going to take them 330 that's what i thought so we're going to sit on this event for a minute or a minute and a half and then we'll make sure that we time it so that it opens during the um I'll probably just go as soon as the uh, the thunder rolls. Uh, I'll probably just do it then. There. All right. Let's have you cut these trees here too. Maybe a couple of those. No farm fields in here. Sad. Sad. And we get stone from the sea marrow. We also get bonus sea marrow from the sea marrow. Those are the same rates there. But I do want to put a, a, a storage in this in this glade for sure. So let's build across here. Let's go ahead and have them start working on the warehouse. Maybe right there should be fine. Um, 
Actually, yeah, that's, that's actually not bad. Let's have you also trim a few trees over here. Let me get the mine in there. I'm going to put a road right here. Uh, and we'll put the mine right on top of those those charges there when the time comes. Uh, you are done there, so come over here, please. And there's the storms we need to start the event. Two people. Uh, and let's take our supplies this time, too. Ten packs of trade goods is not a bad deal. The problem is we're going to be working through the storm with a minus seven to global resolve, which isn't great. But we can probably manage it. Actually, we're going to manage it just fine. Hostility zero is super helpful for that. <laughs> super helpful. Taking you a minute. Good there. I'll save this. It doesn't matter. I'll save this for after. That way our hostility doesn't shoot up because it'll drop our uh, impatience by a point. Um, so that means our hostility will go up by... 15? Yeah. It'll go up by 15. So I don't want to do that. Because that puts us in hostility 1, which means this takes effect. Although, it would be fine to take effect. Because it's not a bad one. In that situation. Here's your part. And build. Can you set these to negative? You can. Okay. So if we wanted to move this over here now, and it was overlapping with these we could set these to negative or set those higher and then that would take care of that let's clear some trees up here up toward these other glades i'm going to do control click so i don't cut into the glade i'm just going to do a big swath of trees like that we're going to open both of those eventually so we might as well you'll hopefully be build these roads as soon as you're done scavenger camp needs to move you've picked all his eggs already Okay, well, you are done for now. That's a bummer. But we do have the need for a harvester camp for these reeds down here. Um, I can build it up here. We can build it by that other storage. I'm just going to build it there because they're probably starting the day up here anyway, starting the effort up here. So it takes them a little less time. Otherwise, they have to walk all the way down here. All right. So hold a secret cookbook. We were offered that on the, uh, the last order choice there. Uh, 10 jerky for every 10 pie produced. It's a little bit better here because um, the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, because in that situation we had to have made the jerky to get the jerky uh, for, the, for the pie bonus. This one we just need to have some place to make pie. So the bakery or the someplace else, for example. Um, traders are very 25% quicker. That's not a bad deal ever. Uh, active trade route slots might be a good idea too. Firekeepers to combat corruption more efficiently. Every cyst burns an additional 50 cor corruption. And that's useful too. Um, hmm. Since food is such a hassle in this biome, I think I'm going to go with Zilda's Secret Cookbook here. And people, we still don't know what a third race is. This is insane. But we have four people here, three people here. So unless these two tools and some clay are better to you than the goods here, I would go with this group, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, you're still working on that. Let's get a mine started down here. A mine is a terrible thing to waste. There's a th That's three there, whereas uh, the other one up here is just one and one. Might be more under the trees, but we're going to say there isn't. And there's definitely not more there. Uh, this here, we can move down this way. Like that. And a couple of people at this. I want to do another woodcutter's camp for sure now that we have two extra beavers. And that'll help matters with them. You're done. Oh, you don't have any fiber or anything. We're going to get some reeds, though. You'll be good. And you guys are bored as well. We don't have any of that. We don't need any of this. So uh, I'm going to pull one of you for now. No, I'm not going to pull one of you. Because I'm going to make them build another big shelter anyway. No, I'm not. Pull one of you. Put three of you in here. At least for now. Come over here and clear those trees out that I wanted cleared out earlier. And let's turn this in. And let's take our first building from that. Uh, we haven't seen the herbs and the berries yet. But this wouldn't be a bad idea. What else did I take that I haven't built? Kiln. Bricks and... Oh, we do have a jerky recipe. I lied. Oops. I probably got yelled at for that. Might want to get the spark dude going too, especially with the beavers. Um, 
I think I should take the smelter for the nice copper bar recipe. But I probably also shouldn't turn down... I probably also shouldn't turn that down. Let's see. Grill, furnace, stamping mill, and smelter. We have the stamping mill at least. And I think we have the furnace as well. I probably shouldn't turn down the herbalist. Even though we don't need it yet. We will see berries and herbs. And I think I'm going to sit on it for a minute till we open this glade up. That might be the best of the, all the options. I want this to get uh, totally finished. It's pre pretty much finished. Nope, 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 nope. How are you doing? Lots of stuff to haul. At least you have a short trip, although they're coming around from the far side, of course. Because logic. I guess that's where the caravan is centered upon. Uh, a couple more beavers here. You're done there, so come up here. Let's put you on this side. And let's let's go ahead and prep this glade to open. I keep forgetting the alt trick now. Because we could use some more food. Just about done. A couple more trips. Well, yeah. One more trip. That's weird. It sh sh showed the thing disappearing, even though they hadn't gone gotten there to pick it up yet. Okay. And this new orders. Uh, five glades. We're going to do that. Uh, sell goods worth 35 amber to a trader or trade route uh, and have rainwater. Uh, or spark dew, rather. That is good. That's good. That's good. Uh, traders will arrive 15% quicker is good. Builder can carry additional items isn't bad. Wire, wildfire essence. I think I'm going to go with this one. And here. Scrolls and the temple. Religion and education. That's the building we found randomly last time. Gets us a bonus to incense production. And some oil and some flour. Sitting level 2 with two settlements on trade routes. We should really try to do this one. I think I will try to do this one. Um, because I tend to ignore the trade routes. And I shouldn't. Oh, I keep forgetting we have we have fields here, and I keep turning down farm buildings. Dang it. <laughs> I'll learn eventually, y'all. I will learn eventually. Let me give them a little more focus here. I think that's fine. They're going to still... Yeah, they'll cut through all of those trees. We can move it over here. Sure. So since we're getting stone from that, unless we have a issue with our stone supply, which we don't, I'm going to keep focusing them on Seamaro whenever we can, uh, rather than um, letting them have... Um, let's not even focus on the stone. Although, does the stone get us roots and bugs? Mmm. And copper from the big ones. Maybe I should let them get both of those over there then. Okay. Herbs, berries. See, I should have taken the herbalist camp. Eggs, fertile soil, meaning abandoned cash, and a hidden trader cemetery. Hidden trader cemetery. A cemetery full of traders killed by desperate viceroys. <laughs> What drove them to commit such heinous crimes? Was it out of greed or necessity? Uh, minus 50% to goods value to traders. Wow. Uh, working effect, 40 hostility every 60 seconds. Uh, that's not good. We should probably wait to do that one until a little later. Uh, goods here, I guess we're going to have to do sea marrow or we could do planks. Let's do planks because wood is basically free. Uh, I should put somebody else back in here then, which means I should probably pull one of you at least here. Um, when do I want to do this, though? Um, well, 
Let's see. It's going to take three minutes and 30 seconds. I think we should... Dang it. I think we should try and time it for later in the storm to start. That way we don't have crap. Uh, should I take the plantation or should I take the herbalist camp? I'll take the herbalist camp. Okay. Get that built. We also need to get the archaeologist thing built. Uh, that's here. We'll build it on this side this time just for fun. They can work on that when they have time and supplies. Supplies! You're bored now. Um, I guess we can come back to doing these trees, right? Mm -hmm -hmm. Here. And I actually do a control. Add an alt. It's not an alt anymore, Wally. Like that. And you can actually do these trees here, too, because they're kind of in the way. And you can do some of these trees here, too, because they're kind of in the way. Uh, let's see. We don't know what those types of people we're going to get yet. Let's get this started here, and then probably just go across like that. And that'll be fine. The storage can probably come a little closer to the farm. You have eggs to pick. Oh, we got a lizard. Okay, so we know it's a lizard now, so uh, herbalist can just be some humans or whoever, doesn't matter. Uh, I'll let you get whatever you want to get, but I'm only going to give you one person. Mm-hmm. How about building material packs? There you go. Give me those three. We can get that turned in, too. Uh, let's back out one more woodcutter. Get down to hostility one. Everybody is housed, so we're happy. Lizard resolves are gonna go lizard's gonna go negative, but they're gonna take a little while to get there. You know what? Actually I may just put a couple of human houses in down here. Let's take bricks though. Yeah, we still need a better brick recipe. Or no wait. Do I keep forgetting to build the kiln to get the better brick recipe? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. How many bricks do we have? Let's do that. I'll let you finish the ones you, you're on, just in case. We need to get this thing going. Lizard can work here. Make lizard happy. Oh, wait, that one, this one. Not that one just yet. Uh, do those, please. And make coal up to uh, 40. I should set a global production limit on that, too. Uh, wait, did I want to start that now? I do. Okay. Uh, Glade event carry. Yeah, let's do that one. That's fine. 20 planks. Let's do it. Let's do it. Need to get my trader built at some point. That would probably be a good thing to do. Uh, let's see. Rooted ground. Wood production increase. Harvesting and planting are slower. This is urban planning again. Or over diligent woodworkers. Let's do this one. I like this one. You gain three barrels for every ten planks produced. We make a ton of planks all the time, so that's a ton of barrels, which is a ton of vessels it's for ale or pickled goods or whatever else. And people? Let's see. Five or five? Okay. Uh, let's take this group, I think. Because then I can throw the beavers back in here. Keep three of them over there. I can get a uh, rain collector. Oops, rain collector going here. Also, stone cutter needs to move. I noticed that earlier and then I forgot about it. Uh, put that in like this, and I'll let you get whichever. I don't care. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. And I can always throw more beavers down here if I want to as well. But I think I will put one of them in here, and I'll leave just two in that other place for now. 
in that other place. Um, let's make a turn here someplace. Where do I like the turn to be? Well, here? Or... Um, actually, let's do the turn here. Because that's the edge of town. Just in case. And then this goes here. So we'll cut this way. And we will cancel some of this cutting. For now. So that they focus their efforts that way. One... Oof. That's gonna be close, actually, on the... <laughs> one second. Okay. Low on food, I know. Harvester camp, yeah. Uh, I don't think I have anything else for you to do, though. I do not. Guess they probably didn't need two people in that anyway. Maybe I'll put one more in here, since we're low on food. And maybe I'll have you focus slightly more on berries than herbs. For now, at least, until we get, you know, things like biscuits and pie going. Go ahead and make jerky if you get bugs. Or meat, I don't care. Use coal for fuel? No, leave, leave it on wood for now. If you get if you get stuff, get use stuff. That's the way you should do it. Ooh! Abandoned, uh, trapper's camp. Great, something we can't hardly even use. We could use it for eggs, but I don't think it's worth it for eggs. You know, the parts to build it anyway. Uh, well, I mean, we wouldn't have the parts to build it anyway. We need some parts. Do we have parts? Yeah, we can turn this into... We have a couple of parts coming. <sighs> That's going to be a problem. Um, I'm going to tell you not to do this anymore for right now. Wait, did I let you make packs of crops again? Oops. And uh, let's look at this one. Fabric or those trade goods. Yeah. Coal, tablets, and crystallized dew. Uh, let's see. This camp will give us some people or some amber. Um, I keep avoiding putting down the um, trader. Maybe I should just put that down someplace. Maybe down here or something out of the way. That's a good place for it. I think. So I probably just salvage this tra this trapper's camp. I don't think I, I don't feel like I need it. There's no bugs on the ground. There's no meat on the ground. The only thing is eggs, and I'm fine with the scavenger picking the eggs for that. So let's just do that uh, first. The two of you can do that, and then we can pull this as well. Um, more fields here. Wait, did I read off everything? I think I did. I'm going to move you over here. Have you work on these trees again. And then I guess we'll wait on this event to... Let's do that one. Yes. I guess we'll wait on this event again until... Oh, no, it's short time. Oh, it's just um, Temple Demands Offerings. It sure is all good. Tomorrow. Yeah. Then let's do the, uh, the Packs of Trade Goods. Let's do this. Let's do a couple people. And let's go. I think we can get rid of this building entirely. Now, with the Blight Rot, if we had gotten this far, we wouldn't be able to delete the building. Fortunately, we didn't. So let's delete this one right here. And then we can move something else into there if we decide to later. Jorg is here. Uh, let's see. We could sell Jorg some of our packs of provisions for sure. Uh, but before we do that, then I want to check something else. Herb garden could be good. It should be something. Um, but maybe. Uh, we could do some food no matter what. Before we do any dealings with Jorg, let's come up here. We don't have any pottery. We don't have any jerky. We don't have any luxury goods. We don't have any incense. This is going well. We do have some grain. We must have gotten it from a cache. So we could do, we could trade some of that. That's worth 0.8 plus 0.4. That's actually a good trade. Let's do, um, 
couple of these maybe? Or do I care? So, I believe you only gain reputation for each trip, regardless of how much stuff you send per trip. I also want to do auto collect on these. So let's uh, let's do this one, just one. Smoldering City, we could send you some Sea Morrow. 124 plus 120 though, isn't worth it. Uh, 160 plus 40 is just this, it's a wash. And I'd rather keep those packs, I think, because we could probably use them again. So let's just do the one trade route for right now, and we'll see how that goes for us. But we need to check in every so often because they do reset. So let's send you, uh, let's give you like, I don't know, maybe half or so. 25. Um, I want to buy some food from you. Do I care what kind of food I buy? Maybe. Let's see. Biscuits and pie. Pickled goods. Biscuits. Pie. Biscuits and pie would be good. Um... I also need to take some buildings. But how did I get three? Oh, I know I got three. Uh, so, do that again. Half or so. Give me like... Um, 20 pie. Or maybe not. Maybe I want to take the herb garden. I couldn't get... I could barely get that even if I tried, or I'd have to give away more packs of provisions. Uh, let's let's increase that then. Leave me with a few. Let's buy the uh, nine amber we need first. There. And then give me five of each of these then, I guess. Hmm. I don't like the balance on that trade. Oh, you can have these too. That's okay. And then maybe just, I don't know, some... Can't, can't afford, can't afford. That's fine. Uh, the uh, trader graveyard, by the way, if you attack the trader, I think it kills them, and that's why that, uh, that's, that's why that's a thing. Okay, clear Jorg, clear that. Um, so this, I want to wait to, st oh, I'm already starting it, never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and take the, oh crap, I didn't buy, I almost screwed up. I didn't buy this. Jeez. Can't take me anywhere. Uh, let's see. I don't think I have the spot cleared for this, though. Properly? I do not. Let me have you guys to come down here to cut those three trees right there. And then we'll come back and do those. I need to put a storage out here. But I don't know where I want it yet, because I want to see what that farm looks like. Building choices. Right, 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 right. Um, I keep getting this one and I keep being like, I don't really want it. Hmm. Coats would give me two out of three races. Maybe that's a good idea. Flower would be good too. Uh, we only have roots. Yeah, let's do this one. Provisioner. Of course. But I don't want it anyway. That's fine. Uh, artisan. Might be a good idea. Cookhouse could be a good idea. I could take the clothier this time. But I think I would take the artisan over the clothier. But we're getting pigment from the trees. So it's just about the coats then. I 
Water skins need leather, which means we'd have to have a ranch to get leather, I think. So, let's see. Uh, biscuits, skewers. The problem with skewers is we don't have any supplies for it. We need a ranch is what we need. But I don't know if we have the ranch unlocked yet. I think we do. Uh, ugh. Do I want coats? We already have... Wait, we don't already have biscuits. Oh, we already had biscuits. At one star. Then I guess I should take the cookhouse. Plan Hall, Tavern, Beaver House, Brickyard. Don't really need the Brickyard. Although we don't have a copper smelting recipe right now. Plan Hall will give us... Two things we can't make yet. And also, all camp production is increased by 50%. Except for woodcutters camps. Tavern. Is ale and training gear. Humans and beavers. Lizards. Plus three to global resolve. Uh, lizards. Humans and lizards. So I'd say in that case, the tavern is better. We can't make any of that crap yet. I'll go with it anyway. Anyway, uh, let's see. Cookhouse is huge. I forgot about that. Let's go. There. Orders. Next order. Three tablets, four glades. Pottery for the, from the Glade, Wildfire Essence, and Simple Tools. A bunch of packs. We can't make these yet, I don't think. Oh, Weaver and Smithy. Oh, we, do, we can't make them. Okay. Um, I lied. Training gear, a bonus to ale, and some wine. Eh. These cost too much... Too much food right now. Let's do this one. I'll be lazy. Because we're still low on food. You move back over here. You get a herb garden. Like that. Rain mill can go in... Here. Tavern I'm not going to build yet. I'll move for carpenter. Do, 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 do. Woodcutter's camp needs to move. Over here. This is done. I think I'll take the amber here. I don't think I need more people. I need to house some people. Oh, crap. Uh, let's put up some human houses. There. And then let's put up another... I don't have another place to build... Just put up a couple of simple shelters here, just to do, 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 do. I'll put two up, uh, just for now. And then we also need to put up some decorations here. You need beavers or humans. Um, humans get the production bonus, beavers get the happiness bonus. We'll go with that option. I do want them to get back to this eventually. But for now, we'll do flower here. Use that, or for now, just that. We don't have another wheat recipe, but... A couple of you coming to get this. Oh, wait, nope, nope, not those. We don't have the food for this. Never mind. I could go. Uh, yeah, I know. We need to get housing done. Get housing done. Oh, we're fine on housing. Just about fine on housing. Hi Hostility is not high, but I could probably make it, make it better. Make it somewhat better. Uh, where's the farm go here? Right there? Yep, right there. Uh, let's get these built. Since we have the workers. Uh, you guys can come over here and help with this effort. 
And I don't know how that one looks yet. Need to clear out some more trees, I think. Like that. Alright. Skewers is... Yeah. I, I just don't... But biscuits would be good. Um, lizard, get to work on biscuits. You'll have flour in a moment. Next settlement location. I think maybe out here. Because it's pretty clear. Uh, do I have... I do have... Pretty clear and open. Let's do another herb garden here. A couple of humans in here. They should be plowing. It's only 11 fields, which is kind of a bummer. Oh, a beaver left. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, cornerstone. 20 coal for every three burned blyrot cysts. Not a bad deal. Minus 40 hostility for every hub upgraded to level neighborhood or higher. We'll do that. Ancient mushroom farming. Mushroom production increases by plus one every 25 times it's produced. Unless we got a farm where we can grow mushrooms, that's not any good. I think I'll do this one. And let's get these upgrades going. I was going to put the decorations out here at the end. Um, I think that's a good idea. Maybe we could do something different too. Uh, but nah, I'll just do the same thing I always do. There. There and there. I really want to get this thing opened because I want to get it out of the way. We just can't keep the food in stock yet. Um, people. I could really use these parts. I could also use 15 food. Or could I even use the parts? Eh. Well, I'm going to do it anyway because I don't need the extra extra beavers. And I could use a human in here. Uh, let's see, where did I put humans that I don't need them? Here. There. Get to work. Uh, let's do more roots than herbs, I think. I might knock this one down to just one worker, actually. Because we're able to pick herbs, we're not able to pick roots as often. Um, yeah, I'm going to knock this one down to one worker, I think. Well, for now, they can be two. If we need people, I'll pull one out of there. Let's turn that building materials on. Here. And limit that to 15. It gets these guys back to work. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And I put that road right there, and now I don't want it there anymore. I want it over here. So I'm moving it. Oops, I screwed that up. Luckily it's free. Just cost time. How are we looking over here? Same kind of spot right there? Yeah. So let's do a... Well, let's move these guys out of the way. Um, go here, clear some of these trees. That's fine for now. I'll figure out a better spot for you later. Uh, so we put a... Put the, put the farm building in right there. Put a road here. Move you over. Like that. Although... I don't really need that. And then I can do a warehouse right here. There we go. And then that can become a neighborhood pretty quickly with some more decorations. So let's just do some decorations out here. Um, I don't know, some benches maybe. One, two, three, four. And then, um, wrong, uh, wrong menu, Molly. One of those, we just unlocked, what, the night fern? So I'm gonna make two of those think? I don't know. It's weird these are all food. These people are food motivated. I definitely want to use herbs for the biscuits. 
Um, the problem is going to be the flower. We're going to have to use roots for flower. Yeah, see, they got that planted in plenty of time. Uh, where do we want to go work at next? Actually, what we need to do is this. This one? I don't have enough amber for that. Crap. Uh, okay. uh, what about trade routes? Trade routes. Let's see here. Crystallized do I actually have some. 118 plus 0.4. Wow. That's actually pretty good. If I want to spend the crystallized dew on that. We'll skip it and come back. Reeds. I could part with some reeds. 16 reeds is 224 plus 120. That's worth it. Uh, we don't have those, but biscuits I'm not parting with. Tablets are 8 plus 320. That one's not worth it to me. 216 plus 120. This one would be if we could. So let's do... Um, Let's do one set of reeds, that's seven. And let's do one set of this, that's four. That makes 11, which is more than 10. Because I can do math. Building materials are done. Uncheck this. Return those. Those. She was carrying them in at the time. Beavers would be happier now. And the other thing we got was uh, human fire keepers. Queens of Patience grows 25% slower. Still have a human in here? So, no, that's not it. Uh, what was the thing we just got? Wait, what was the thing we just got? This one? Maybe. All right, that one's done. Uh, let's just figure out a spot out here, working around this, and we'll deal with it later. Uh, I think that spot could be anywhere, actually. That puzzles in nicely. Is it worth it? Probably not. Worth the effort, I mean. Um, actually, it's not bad. Let's do that. We can still put the path around it, like this. For fun. And we can do this one like that. I should put a storage out here because of the farm. Plus, we have other stuff, so let's do a storage warehouse. Just put that in right here. It's fine. Woodcutter needs to move. Uh, why don't we just open this up? for now because I don't know what else to do yet I don't know where, where I want to go yeah I'm going to pull one of you out of here I'm going to put a bunch of human houses in up here I think like this I'll put a lizard in here for their own happiness. Oh, scavenger camp too. I missed that one. Uh, I don't think we have anything to scavenge. I don't see anything. Crap. There goes some more food down the drain. Uh, why don't you guys then come up here and chop some of this wood? So that I can do this. More houses here. That's right, I pulled two beavers out of those. Hmm. Incense recipe would be good for the for the uh for the tavern? No, we have the tavern. These are in brawling, so we need ale and uh, uh battle raiments here. Uh we could do the uh, scribe, that would be good. Yeah, we'll do the scribe. And the scribe can go right in that little opening. Look at that. Planned it. Um, mm, I think no to the Forbidden Glade. I think not. At least not yet. Uh, maybe this one then. I think I'm just going to build right over that copper. Not worth it. Sothar's here just before the storm. 
So Sothir sells reputation bags. Half a point each for 20 amber each. Oh, wait a minute. What do we want the amber for? Pause. Spend that before you move on, Wally. Here. Yep. That's where we want to go. Uh, wait. Right there. That's where we want to go. Uh, let's see. What do you sell that I want? Anything for food? Buy cosmetics in case we get them for the uh, blade event. Probably not. Buy some training gear. Do I care that much? Maybe. Let's sell some of these again. We could just take some amber. That's too much. I really need a copper recipe. I have some tools, though. I should open up some caches. Why, why do I care about that, though? Let's just do this. That's good. All right. Uh, caches kind of delayed events, though, so we should save them for the uh, for the drizzle. Right. Uh, this says. Dangerous or Forbidden Glade event? I don't think they count for Danger Glade events, even if they're in a Danger Glade, though. I doubt they do. Uh, lizards aren't happy. Everyone else is okay. Lots of humans or lots of beavers. We already have this, I think. Wait. That's not the thing we have. Um, 13 and 20. We can have this one now. We could maybe have that one later. We don't have a pie recipe yet. But we could take this one. Beavers will be even happier then. I think that's worth it. I'm not going to turn it in right now. I have to wait anyway. Have served a bunch of pie and biscuits. That would be nice. Or give them six of these. Get 15 roots every time we discover a new glade. Five people and 40 skewers. Um, I don't have that many parts. I guess I'll take this one. I can turn that one in now. I'm not going to do it. We're coming down here. Um, next. I didn't get this going yet either. Kind of hoping we get another building besides the herb garden, but I guess I can just keep planting uh, roots like crazy. I think I might pull. I might pull human from there. I got plenty of beavers, so maybe I won't. Here, uh, this needs humans too, but we can't actually use it yet. Um, because we don't really have the stuff. I'd rather make the biscuits right now. Although I could sell it, but then again, to what end? Go across there like that. I'll put a road in there. And um, I also just noticed the time. And I'm way over again. So we're going to head down here. Do our archaeological uh, discovery and dig um, with one of you in the next episode. Uh, so maybe I'll be a better archaeologist than I was the last time. And then um, we can, you know, maybe make some, make find something else to, to pick up here. I should probably open... Yeah, I should open this one up, too. I'll throw a couple beavers at that. That'll be good. And then we can... Um, we can see if there's another one of these we might want to take care of. But actually, that spent too much for that. So we'll have to wait on that. But we can figure that out in the next one. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you then. Bye for now.